my desk. Okay, everybody, sit down. All right, class. School is about to begin. Here you are, Piggy. An apple for the teacher. Why, thank you, Fuzzy. Fooled you with the old rubber worm in the apple joke. That's not funny, Fozzie. Now go to your seat. Oh, quit joking around, Fozzie. It's important to get an education. You're right, Kermit. There's a time for jokes and a time for being serious. Hey, Skeeter, what's that? Yay! A spider! Where? Where? It's only my fake spider. Pretty funny joke, huh? <laughs> No, it's not funny. I thought you were going to be serious, Fozzie. Sorry, Kermit. I must have gotten up on the funny side of the bed this morning. Okay, quiet down, class. The first thing we are going to do is call the roll. While you're at it, call me a dinner roll. <laughs> I'm hungry. Waka, waka, waka. Oh, Fozzie. That's enough, Fozzie. In my class, you will raise your hand if you want to speak. Our first subject today will be Italian history. Does anyone know who discovered spaghetti? I do, I do. Okay, Gonzo, go ahead. It was the famous explorer, Marco Weirdo. Who? Okay, he was sailing around the world looking for sugar and spice and everything nice when suddenly... for funny. That's an F for not being funny. Gosh, I thought my jokes would get an A. Hi, kids. How's your first day at school going? I got an A in arithmetic, Nanny. And I got an A in gymnastics. Well, congratulations. <laughs> What's the matter, Fozzie? Who wrote this report card? <laughs> Piggy did, Nanny. Giving Fozzie an F wasn't very nice, Piggy. I think you should apologize. I'm sorry I gave you an F, Fozzie. And I'm even more sorry that your jokes aren't funny. Piggy! They are so. They are not! Uh, why don't you tell Nanny a joke and let her decide? Great idea, Kermit. Here's a funny one, Nanny. What's the difference between an orange? Go ahead, Fozzie. Finish the joke. It is finished. That's the joke. See, Nanny? 
<laughs> um, why, uh, that was very different, Fozzie. That's okay, Nanny. You don't have to laugh. I guess Piggy was right. I'm not funny. Don't give up, Fozzie. With a little more practice, I'm sure you could be a very funny comedian. Yeah, sure, Nanny. Fozzie looks awful sad. Yeah, we can't let him think he's a failure. We gotta help him out. But how? We could give him funny lessons. Oh, that's a great idea, Gonzo. Come on, Fuzzy. We're gonna turn you into the funniest bear in town. You are? Sit down, Fuzzy, and Kermit will show you how to be funny. Me? Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, now appearing live in the world-renowned nursery room, the one and only Kermit Danger Frog. Now remember, Fuzzy, the secret to funny jokes is twisting around the meaning of the words. Um, I knew a guy who was going to start a bakery, only he couldn't raise the dough. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, please, please. What do you get when you cross a frog with an elephant? You get a flat frog! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you! You see, Fuzzy, it's simple. And now, the nursery room is proud to introduce a foot and a half of fuzz-covered fun, Foggy Bear, yay! You think I'm ready? Sure, go on. Remember, Fozzie, it's all in the words. Don't worry. I got it now. Uh, uh, what do you get when you put chocolate pudding in your mother's shoes? Give up? You get a spanking. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I thought it was funny. Sorry, Fozzie. Uh, I guess I let you down. It wasn't your fault, Kermit. My joke just wasn't funny. That's because the true secret to comedy is craziness. Then you must be the funniest weirdo in the world, Gonzo. Be nice to me, Piggy, or I'll tell everybody where you hide your chocolate bonbons. Okay, okay. Now, as I was saying, the secret to being funny is being weird. You know, like Steve Martin. You can see the people in the audience with the amateur model arrow through the head. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, Fuzzy. After I give you some weird lessons, you'll have the audience rolling in the aisles. The first thing you need is a weird prop. Okay. <laughs> Fuzzy. Gosh, it's working already. Wait till you see this. This is what we in the weird business call Weirdsville. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> it doesn't look funny to me. Did you hear that, fellas? He doesn't think we're funny. Whoa! <laughs> Imagination is dangerous. I'm getting out of here. Gonzo's too weird for me. I have not yet begun to weird. <laughs> and you're not going to. <laughs> I'll never find out what funny is. Nemo. Animo? What do you know about being funny? Funny is fun. <laughs> Funny is trip. Oh, I get it. 
People will laugh at me if I trip and fall. Hey, guys, watch this. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was great, Fuzzy. I knew you could be funny. What are you talking about, Kermit? I really did trip. Oh, sorry. Now this is a funny trip. What? Oh. Great, huh? Uh, sure, Fuzzy. That was funny, wasn't it, guys? I can't even trip right. I'm just not cut out to be a comedian. All I wanted to do is make people laugh. I guess I am a failure. Gee, what are you doing, Fuzzy? I'm throwing away my joke books and all of my joke stuff. You guys have been right all along. I'm just not funny. I'm giving up comedy for good. I'm tired of trying to be funny. I know how you feel, Fuzzy. It's kind of like playing a song and nobody taps their feet. Yeah. Oh, don't give up, Fuzzy. If I hadn't given you an F, you would still want to be funny. It's not your fault, Piggy. After a thousand tomatoes in the face, I can take a hint. But making people laugh always meant so much to you, Fuzzy. Are you sure you want to give that up? Uh-huh. I'm going to be the most unfunny thing I can be. Maybe I could sell books. That sounds pretty unfunny. Who is it? Uh, door-to-door -door sales bear. Oh, come right in. Okay. Fuzzy! I met through the regular door. Oh, I, I knew that. Good afternoon, miss. My name is Fozzy Bear, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in buying a new 3D holographic stereo encyclopedia. They're not funny, are they? Oh, no. They're not funny at all. Here, I'll show you. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm new at this. Oh, volume E. You'll love this one. Here's a section on earthquakes. Okay. That was close. What section is that? Electricity. Yeah! Die. Maybe volume O is safer. No! Not that page. That's the ocean. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Well, they're naval oranges. I was close. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a section on jokes. Jet planes. Jokes. Wow. There's nothing worse than a wise guy encyclopedia. Gosh, what volume is that? Ooh, it's K for Kermit. Oh, uh, I don't think you were cut out to be a sales bear, Fuzzy. Really? I thought I was getting close to a sale. Come to think of it, I'm not very close to anything. Oh, let's go back to the nursery. How do we get back? Check in volume D. Oh, D for drain. I can't tell jokes. I can't sell books. What good am I? What kind of attitude is that, Fozzie? You gotta be good for something. I guess I could always be a bear rug. Nah, you're too lumpy. I know what you can be, Fozzie. Don't you get it? Oh, yeah. I could be a metronome. No, you like standing up in front of people. You could be a singer. I could? Sure you could, Fuzzy. Yeah, go on, give it a try. Mm, here goes nothing. Yeah. I 
can see it all now. As I walk out on stage, the audience cheers. I'm the latest rage. I grab my guitar and I'm ready to play. And then I reach for the microphone and here's what I say. Waka, waka, waka. famous bear. They chased me around for a lock of my hair. My video's out and my album too. And here's what I say on my interview. Waka waka waka. Waka waka waka. I guess I'm just a funny guy. Okay, how's this? What's the difference between a potato? very good at singing either. It's no use. I'm not funny. I can't sell. I can't sing. I'm just a dumb bear. You're not dumb, Fozzie. I'm not? No way. In fact, with a little bit of study, I'll bet you could be a great scientist. You think so, huh? Imagine, Fozzie Einstein. Are you sure I'm scientist material, Professor Scooter? Positive. Why, with a little luck, you could discover the theory of relativity. Relativity? Wait a minute. I think I got it. Of course. I'm a bear, and bears are related to dogs. Therefore, Rolf and I are relatives. I've just discovered relativity. No, not quite, Fozzie. Relativity means that something is big only when you compare it to something else that's smaller. You know, it's all relative. Oh, you mean like relative to a peanut? I got a real big brain. Uh, something like that. This science stuff is fun. I think I'll invent anti-gravity chewing gum. You might be a great scientist, Fozzie, but nobody can invent anti-gravity chewing gum. Yeah. I guess you're right. Huh? Wow, you did it. You're a genius, Fozzie. Gosh, I am, aren't I? Uh, I could invent anything. Uh, maybe even a joke formula. I've done it. Isn't it funny? Huh? Instant tomato soup is more like it. Ah, who am I kidding? I'll never be a scientist. The only formula I ever discovered was baby formula. I know how you feel, Fuzzy. I felt awful when I realized I'd never be what I wanted to be. What did you want to be, Gonzo? Uh, I wanted to be green, so Vicky would like me better. Oh, yuck! Beat it, Buffy! <laughs> Thanks, Animal, but I don't want to take your toys. Toys make happy. Really? Maybe Animal's right. Maybe I need toys. Maybe if I made millions of dollars, I could buy myself happiness. It sure is hot in Texas. Hey, Kermit! Wait up! Huh? Uh, do I know you? Of course you do. It's me, J.R. Fozzie. J.R. Fozzie? Gee, I haven't seen you since you left the nursery to become a billionaire. Yeah, I'm a big oil rancher now, rolling in dough. How about you, Kermit? Did you make a lot of the green stuff? Nope, the only green I got is my skin. But it's mine, and I'm happy. Uh, oh, so am I. I got everything I could possibly want. Well, then, uh, I guess you don't need me. 
Wait, don't you want to see my oil ranch? Well, you're really gonna like it. Okay. I've got a thousand cows. They put out 10,000 barrels of oil a day. Wow. And wait till you see this. I got my own airstrip and my own private lake. Yes, sir. There isn't anything in the world I can't buy. You must be real happy. Now that you mention it, I'm miserable. I don't understand it, Kermit. I got cars, boats, planes, everything. How come I'm not happy? Mm, I don't know, Fuzzy. When was the last time you felt happy? It was back in the nursery when I used to tell uh, jokes. <laughs> uh, I'm not crying. I just had some joke, uh, smoke in my eye. <laughs> it just isn't the same anymore without Fozzie telling his jokes. I know what you mean, Kermit. I never laughed on the outside, but when Fozzie was happy, I always had a smile on the inside. Come on, let's tell him. Um, there's something we want to tell you, Fozzie. Don't worry. I'll never tell another joke again. You don't understand, Fozzie. We want you to tell jokes. You do? But I thought you said they were awful, Piggy. I did. But she never told you to give up your dream. That's right, Fozzie. You mean I can tell jokes again? Sure, Fozzie. Go ahead. We love to hate your jokes. Oh, boy. Did I tell you the one about the man with the light bulb in his nose? <laughs> he was lightheaded. Waka, waka, waka. What do you call a zebra with no stripes? A horse. A horse. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I can do worse than that. How about this one? What do you call a yo-yo that goes down but won't come up? A yo! Wow! Mmm! <laughs> Yum! Tomato! Waka waka waka! <laughs> Did you get a chance to connect to UDU this week? Well, today, UDU connects to you. Tune in and link in to the first interactive show that connects kids to kids across the country and throughout the planet. Be part of U to You. Today at 6 p.m., 5 Central, only on Nick. Now, stay tuned for more Muppet Babies, next on Nick. Sure is wet down here. Oh. 